What's going on everybody, it's your boy Stan the Man and welcome to another video! Today what I have for you guys, these are all the tools and equipment, it's a follow up from my previous video and this time we are gonna get them on the field. Alright guys, we're finally done, I'm gonna divide this into parts, so first on the left side we have all the equipment that goes on all standard fields, doesn't matter if it has uh, wheat, canola, some flowers, we do have the cultivator, the plow, the manure spreader and all the equipment that's on this type. And on the right we have all the grass equipment, the mowers, the tethers, the windrowers, loading wagons and the balers. I will try to use the electric tractor as much as I can but bear in mind that it has only 60 horsepowers. The first we're gonna try the plow from Pottinger, the Servo 25. With only 1.2 meters width, I don't think this will do much, but let's try it nevertheless. That only goes 3 rows. The next one is the Pottinger Teradix 3001 and this is the cultivator. Look at all the small details, it has a maximum working speed of 17 kilometers. All the small little discs are animated. The next cultivator is the Sun Crow 3020 again from Pottinger. And this one is not foldable. Pottinger line 330 and you can use it just stand alone all the teeth underneath are animated as you can see let me try to show you better Now let's get it with the cedar and let's see how all of them sounds and operate at the same time. So first you need to lower the paraharrow because you won't be able to fit it underneath the cedar. The double wheels definitely help with stability of the tractor. And now let's try to see some weight. Wow, 15 kilometers of working spin for this little guy. Definitely very nice. For the next test, we're gonna leave the rigi track to chill and we're gonna grab the uni track. I went and grabbed all the different options for the slurry tank so you guys can see how it behaves. So first off is the manure spreader. Let's grab it. You need to unfold it before you want it to work. It moves on the right and the left as well. Very nice. I've never seen this one before. And it pushes the manure in the back. As I mentioned before, I went and grabbed the three different equipment options you have with the slurry spreader. First one is the standard one. It has 10 meter 
working range. Let's see how this thing performs. It doesn't have any animations in the back. The next option you can have with the slurry spreader is this swivel distributor in the back. The last option you can have with the slurry spreader are the hoses and there's something very awesome with the Unitrack. If you go into the inside camera, you back this thing up and take a look at the monitor on the middle. If I attach the slurry spreader, it will actually show on that monitor. You see this? From a question mark, it becomes a red square. It means that something is connected and there's also animation for the front hydraulic as well let's see that again red doesn't know what's happening and green we have a slurry spreader okay let's unfold this big boy eight meters of working range lower this down and it's on The Alpine DLC is definitely more more concentrated. As you can see, we have a bunch of equipment that goes, in my opinion, towards to small and medium mowing. Mm -hmm. You can't even hear this thing, let alone trying to do something with it. <laughs> All right, the first on our list is the Sep Nusel F240. On the sides over here, yep, you can't see them no more. Let's lower these bad boys down, get on the field and start mowing. Next is the Pottinger Nova Alpen 261. It's a little bit bigger than the one we just tested. And again, it's it has animated blades and the sides are foldable. Let's unfold them. Lower it down and turn it on. I'm really not sure if this Nova Cat will be able to be pushed by the small tractor, but let's try. I know I'll be pushing the electric tractor too much but let's try to see if we can get the Pottinger Nova Disc 812 in the back. It definitely can move with this boat but let's try and unfold this bad boy. It has 8.6 meter length. Lower it down, turn it on. And the front more of course, lower it down and turn it on. Let's see. I can't believe it. It barely, but it goes six kilometers of working speed. This is with the front mower on and the back mower as well. All electric, seven. With all the cutting of the grass, you need a way for it to collect. So let's get the first windrower on our list 
and this is none other the SIP Air 300 FLP. A little smaller than the SIP is this again from SIP, the Favorite 254. Let's drop it down. It doesn't have any unfold options and just turn it on. And it moves the grass. Nice animations once again. Oh, 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 there we go, there we go, let's not push the other one. Okay, now let me switch size. The Pottinger top 3, 4, 2. It has a working speed of 20 kilometers and the working rate is 3.5 meters. Let's grab it in the back. No problem for a small little fella to pick this up. Unfolding, it doesn't have any animations about the blade. They just appear. Let me try this once again they're just removable by the animation And now the biggest windrower that comes standard with these Alpine DLC is the Pottinger Top 612C. It has a working width of 5.9 meters. Again, it doesn't have animation about the blades, they're just removable. I will do it once again so you guys are able to see. And just some of the blades are removable. What about if you already have withdrawn your grass and need to dry it? The Alpine DLC have you covered. The first one of the tethers is the Pottinger Alpine Hint 4.4H. It has 4.4 meters of working range, as it's for the name. You can drop it down, unfold it. The big brother is the Pottinger 8.8. .8. This time we do have hydraulics, as for the, the name suggests, it has 8.8 .8 meter of working width and 20 kilometers of max working speed. Let's drop it down. And again, the working tractor just pulls it without any problem. I do believe this is gonna be one of my favorite tractors so far. Alright, so we come to the big boys now and this tractor may be in trouble. Let's try the first loading wagon, there are four, all from Pottinger. And the first one is the Boss Alpine 251. It has the maximum capacity of 16,000 liters. Dropping the front blade. 
Turning it on. Now let's see the Mito Pottinger. It's the Euroboss 330T. Whoa, it's actually three tons. Whoa, is this little guy gonna be able to pull it? Oh, it's struggling a bit. As you can see, only five kilometers of working speed for the little guy. For the next part of my showcase of the equipment and tools, I have Kevin way over there providing us with that sweet, sweet fresh cut grass. And I decided to leave the small electric tractor to chill while I have his big brother, the rear track SKH 150. It will do all the heavy work. Let's make room for Kevin and let's grab the last of the big Pottinger loading wagons, which is the Pottinger Paro. 40, 10, D. Let's try it on the field. done here but yet again we have three more pieces of equipment to test the swiss elite s31 i already used this bad boy in my brand new time lapse series drop down the blades and pick them from the back the unitrack amazing piece of equipment and let's go it doesn't leave anything on the sides it picks up everything it has only 12 liters of capacity but for a small farm or a narrow field between rocks and trees it's more than enough capacity. I've waited the whole recording session just to try these brand new bailers that come standard with the Alpine DLC and the first one is the Pottinger Impress 125F Pro. Don't, don't mind the net wrap this is a mod I'm using it doesn't need any of this if you don't use the mod or if you don't use any mods it doesn't need to be unfolded all you have to do is drop the blade and turn it on Alrighty, last but not least again from Pottinger, we have the Impress 125 FC Pro. This is a baler slash wrapper combo. I love these combos. I don't know why they look so good to me. Of course, I told you guys in the beginning of the video, I'm going to use this with a dedicated bale turner. All we have to do because it doesn't have any unfold options is to drop the blades. Kevin is already done with the grass cutting. Thank you, Kevin. Turn it on. I'm very interested to see how the animations look in the back. Whoa, it automatically drops it. Nice. And I do believe this is a brand new wrapper animation, yeah. But it doesn't drop it automatically, you have to do it by yourself or use a mod to do it for you. You can see the chains again, they're animated on the left side. On the right, you have all the small little cables and hydraulics the Baylor needs to operate normally. That's cool. That's cool. Everything over here is automated. 
It doesn't have a pre-built chamber like the Curving Line DLC, but nevertheless, it's cool. You, ha you don't need to press any buttons. the engine on oh yeah stand goes let's turn it on lower the blades whoa I must have I must get one of these <laughs> this is so cool One of the biggest features, in my personal opinion, are the implementation of electric tractors as this Rigitrack SKE50 electric and of course I'm gonna show you as popular demand how this thing gets charged. All you have to do is first, if you don't have one, go to miscellaneous electric charging station from Lizard. It costs 250 euros, comes from the Alpine farming pack. And there is one thing very important, look at this, at this electric charging station you can charge your electrical tractors, not the tractor, in this case Rigitrack SK50 electric, but you can charge tractors, which means a bunch of motors that already probably are working on electric tractors, they can implement them in the game and they will be charged by the station or yet again even better mothers can create or have the ability to create their own electric charging stations this means probably this is gonna be in the game all right guys after you have placed your electric charging station all you have to do if of course you have still some power is to drive next to it on the left side you can see start charging and it will charge in 15 seconds of all the work we've done for around one hour let's say for that one hour that the tractor has been running you have at least half an hour of actual work it drops the battery to three percent let me discharge it real quickly to see how much time does it take to charge from zero to a hundred percent all right the electric tractor is fully discharged the battery is drained empty the station is recognized by the tractor and tractor is recognized by the station all you have to do is get inside, pull up the menu, hit R, start charging and as you can see, time until fully charged is 10 minutes. So 10 minutes. There you go guys, this is how you charge your electric tractors. I cannot wait to see what mothers will do with this brand new electrical feature in Farming Simulator 19. Alright guys, these were all the equipment and tools that come standard in Farming Simulator 19, the Alpine DLC. And there are a bunch, way over there we do have the standard field equipment, plow, school, cultivators, slurry spreaders, manure spraying over here is the brand new mowing equipment. We have balers, loading wagon, tethers, mowers, tractors, windrowers, you have anything. You have anything that you want to work on the field grass. Thank you very much for being with me. Let me know what you think in the comments below. Don't forget to smash that like button, subscribe for more and I shall see you on the next one. Bye bye for now.